We're here at the Mouflon Sheep Enclosure in the Saskatoon Forestry Farm Park and Zoo. Today we are meeting zookeepers Amy and Kelly as they demonstrate hoof trimming. To control our animal movements we have uh, handling swing walls. So if I pull the swing wall back. You can follow me in show you the path that the animal is going to follow to go into our tip crush. From behind this door, she'll move through this area and then turn in here. And through this door, this is on the opposite side of the first door I showed you, and she will go into what is called a tip crush inside this doorway where the mouflon sheep will enter in, the doors will be sealed and the mouflon sheep will actually be tipped upside down securely in here with the point of this is that we don't have to require um, medication to sedate the animal while we do this. We can safely contain them in the tip crush quietly and calmly and have control of their hooves while they are trimming. So this is the tip crush from the outside now. Ready when you are, Kelly. And Kelly is putting the mouflon sheep inside the tip crush using those swing walls. So Kelly actually doesn't have to access the mouflon sheep, sheep. So she is safe inside the house as well as the mouflon sheep. So the mouflon has easily come into the tip crush. Amy's going to move the wall to secure the mouflon sheep inside the tip crush. Again, because it is dark inside, the mouflon sheep is calm at the moment. Amy has a window where she can peer in and check the safety of the animal that is inside. Her head is away, which clear. means clear. Amy is able to tip the crush. And they can peek inside and the hooves are available for hoof trimming. Now this takes a little bit of work to get the animal secured so that they're calm and still, alleviating any injuries for our zookeepers. So they're gonna work on doing that and then I will come back and show you how they trim the hooves. So inside the tip crush is the mouflon sheep and as you can see her hooves are secured. The animal isn't making noise or fluttering around inside there so she is calmly secured inside the tip crush. And then Callie and Amy will go ahead and start trimming their hooves. And I'll explain a little bit about that while we go ahead. And the animal will move around a little bit in there while they're working. So start the trim by clearing mud, uh, so I have a good view of the anatomy. I'm going to take my nippers, start at the heel, and remove excess growth. And so Amy, how often do you have to do this? We trim our sheep and deer twice a year, in the spring and in the fall. At that time we also give them vaccinations. So just like trimming your children's nails, sometimes they put up a little bit of a fight but this is important for the overall health of the animals to ensure that their nails don't excessively grow too That's long. Amy working, we'll take a look at Kelly. As she's doing hers, she's got the snippers now. And today we're just doing nail trimming, correct? 
no inoculations today. Yeah, vaccinations? We're going to give vaccinations. Oh, they are going to give some vaccinations yeah. today as well. So currently, Kelly and Amy are just uh, untying the legs that have been secured for the hoof trimming. The hoof trimming is complete. And then they were going to do some vaccinations. And this little girl has lost her ear tag uh, for this facility. So they're going to put a new one on her too as so well. So this is a different way to look at the mouflon now. Instead of uh, accessing her feet, they have to access the head. And she is not hurting inside there. She's very calm. She's just squeezed up so that she can have her head accessed for the ear tagging. So this is like putting an earring in your ear. So she has got her ear tag on now so that she's got a number so we know uh, which animal this is at our facility. So Kelly's going to go ahead and do the vaccinations. So she, uh, this MUFON sheep is getting vaccinated, um, which is the medicine in the one needle that Kelly is currently giving her. And then in the other needle that she'll give her second is a liquid uh, dewormer. So that's uh, going to go into her next. So this is the view of the little mouflon you coming out of the house. She's being let out of her tip crush. Give her a moment to get out. There she goes.